So yeah, my name's Catherine and um, as said, and I, I'm a parent of three boys who are spread out across the years at Fairfield Primary School. Um, so it was about four years ago now when I, along with another parent at the school, approached some of the teachers about setting up an environmental working group. And um, that group comprises a number of parents, also some staff members and, and some interested children. Um, as shown in the video over the years, we've achieved a whole range of things that, um, you know, I suppose as a group we're really proud of. But I thought today I might focus in on a few of them and I think are relevant not just to schools but really to, to any business or group in the community. Um, as shown in the video, one of the first things we did was look at our school gym. You know, we have a really fantastic gym and it looks great at first glance, but it is in essence a tin shed that heats up in the summer. Um, you know, there were, as, as the children said, at least two weeks a year when the gym was unusable and a lot of the rest of the summer it was quite unpleasant to be in. Um, one option was to install air conditioning and that was sort of the immediate thought um, by a number of people. Because of the lack of insulation in the building, the power usage from this would have been enormous um, and probably in the end this wouldn't have been all that effective. So what we did instead was have two special kind of giant fans installed and also the reflective membrane that you saw um, and what that does is reflect off the heat. Um, the result has been that the kids can now um, use the gym all year. Instead of having to go outside on hot days, they actually go in because it's a much more pleasant place to be. Um, another really major focus, along with the, uh, the theme of what we've heard today, has been waste. And I think waste is really um, important in schools because it is so visible. Um, we did some early audits and we found out that, not surprisingly for a school, much of what was in our bins was uneaten sandwiches and food wrappings. Um, so what we did was introduce a five bin system in every classroom so that we now have bins for paper, um, commingled recycling, soft plastics, and then also organics and general waste. Um, this was a great project because the whole school was really involved at all stages of it. Um, we had the kids and the teachers performing the audits. We had parents sewing the stockings that the soft plastics go in. Um, there are parent reps from each class that collect the plastics for drop off to supermarkets. Um, and then there are certain kids that are responsible for educating the classes ongoing about, about the system and also different kids that are responsible for emptying the bins each day. Um, a major part of our work with waste has also been with our suppliers. So one example of this is that when kids order sushi in lunch orders, um, they used to come in those sort of scrunchable plastic containers along with a little fish soy sauce. And we would routinely find these in the playground on lunch order days. Um, we approached our supplier about this and she was really fantastic and, and the result of that was that we now get sushi in, in fully compostable plastic bags and we have a bottle of soy sauce in each classroom um, that the kids can use. Um, the last thing I thought I'd talk about in a bit more detail was energy. Um, we had very high energy usage at Baseline. Much of our, our building stock in the school is, is poorly insulated. Um, much as we tried to educate kids and staff to switch off lights and air conditioners when rooms were not in use, this was a, a difficult battle. Um, we've since installed a, an auto-off function for our air conditioners and for some of the lighting. And, and as the video said, all our lighting is now LED. Um, we got support for that through one of the council programs. Um, and as said, we also have a contract in place for an 80 kilowatt system that's going to go on the roof of our gym. Um, this will entirely offset our energy with, with some to spare and, and I think that's something that's really important for us as a school. Um, you know, I suppose each of these initiatives has led to a range of benefits. You know, the, the, the obvious thing is that they've reduced the impact of our school um, on the climate and broader environment, which is really, you know, our sort of primary motivation in the beginning. But um, they've also had an educational role and that has been with sort of students and teachers and, and families, really the whole school community. Um, you know, we've learned about how you can have a problem in a school and then how these can be solved with, with I suppose, really exciting and, and sustainable solutions. Um, the other sort of major benefit is that they have and they will continue to save us a lot of money. Um, and obviously that can then be, be fed into other initiatives in the school. Um, a, a sort of extra benefit on top of all of that is that what all of this work has done is changed the culture in our school. And it really has gone a long way to improving um, sort of community connectedness as well. It's sort of something we all work on together and we're all proud of. Um, it's also improved our connectedness to the broader community. Um, so Darabin Council, particularly Emma, has been an incredible source of information and a guide. Um, we've liaised with other schools in our area to find out how they've tackled problems and to share our solutions. Um, and as I mentioned, we've got to know and work personally with people along our supply chain. So 
um, you know, all in all, it's been a, a really fantastic experience. And, and as the kids said, we're really excited about um, what we're going to do from here. Thank you, Catherine. Catherine, um, I first met many years ago when she was a parent at Clifton Street Children's Centre doing amazing stuff there. And it's um, no surprise that she's doing amazing stuff at Fairfield Primary. And I think there are so many lessons that can be replicated in what Fairfield Primary School's done across all businesses and organisations, influencing supply chains, working with your customers and, in this case, your kids, um, taking on projects that deliver great outcomes in terms of sustainability, efficiency and saving money. So, so well done.